It is a juxtaposition of incongruity. That's the term they call it. Juxtaposition of incongruity. You know. Emerging of the incompatible. Emerging of the incompatible. You know, taking two things that are mutually exclusive, placing them side by side and finding a single common denominator they share. <laughs> juxtaposition of incongruity. Yeah. And what juxtaposition of, 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 of juxtaposition of, of incongruity does is it creates a sort of absurdity. Juxtaposition of incongruity is kind of surrealistic. When, what I mean is juxtap- it's too it's too big, uh, pretentious, jargonic term. <laughs> this jargonic, those jargonic terms, pretentious. Juxtaposition of incongruity. Basically, you place two objects or two images or two concepts that are mutually exclusive and share no commonality whatsoever, side by side. There's a polarity, there's a dichotomy. Right. Each object or each image has its own distinctive characteristics. But there's a polarity. Because juxtaposition is when you place side by side incongruity. Incongruity is incompatibility. When two things don't mesh together. Don't mesh together. You know, it's like it's like a ice cream and a cigarette lighter. So you see, that's not a polarity. And not, that's not a dual, duality. That's a contrast. Contrast.